Hello everybody. At any moment, my computer can completely fall apart. The camera could fall off the thing. Everything could just completely crash. And we'd be completely without the internet. I'd be so happy. However, with one exception. It would be nice that if all that happened, that you would personally call me up and say hi. 773-321-8181. Martin at gmail.com however the gmail.com would work because my computer would have crashed anyway um so this is actually for a friend of mine I won't embarrass him um because he's online right now and I was just like wow um some of my friends are online right now that's great um and um they probably don't even realize how much I even care about the internet and all that kind of stuff but um now um what I wanted to say here is that I grew up in Chicago, right here on the map. And um, let me see if my friend is logged off yet. Hopefully, he's logged off and it's like, oh my god, this is terrible. Um, I'm gonna have to pause this physio because this is too funny. Hello, everybody. Unfortunately, I'm back again talking on the internet about things that. Hopefully, no one cares about. Um, but um, I'm trying to be funny tonight, and it's not going to end up funny because this is, I guess, another serious conversation about how the earth works. And obviously, that cannot be funny. But um, what I wanted to mention is if you want to be funny, don't believe anything I have to say ever. Um, and basically, I grew up here in Chicago. It happens to be very close to this green line. Now, we're going to get into a discussion tonight, and there's a lot of ways to look at it, and unfortunately this map is going to be the primary discussion piece. Written here in 2025, obviously, and we're going to load it up on a map. Oh, geez, that's the video that we're talking about right now. The computer's being tricky on me. This is a spiritual operating system. GIMP has recovered from a crash. Oh no, so many more images. All right, well, I must have missed some topics, but there are some major cities around the world, and we are going to look at some of those, and I'm going to put them in yellow because this is kind of the second time I've done this thing here. And So I grew up here in Chicago. Oh, what a bad circle, but close enough. Mexico City, we're going to draw a circle around that. Now, we're also going to draw a circle around Santiago, Chile. And we're going to draw a circle around here. This is so far off the map, and I haven't drawn a circle before around it. Ah, oh, gosh. Well, it's on either side. Now, um, if you notice what I'm trying to do, I'm actually drawing circles near this green line. Why would I be doing that? Why don't you think about it for a little bit? Now, we'll put one on Lagos, Nigeria. Ooh, that's going to include Accra. We'll just say it includes Accra. And we're going to put one here. Oh, geez. This is going to be really difficult. It's actually going to make more sense in Africa than it will make anywhere else on what we're trying to do. So, we actually don't have enough. Uh, we're going to have to do these different colors next time. So, it's not going to be a very good diagram, but it's life, guys. I'm going to put one down here in Mapa Mapito. And we're even going to circle the entire island in green. And we're going to just do this in a terrible fashion. Uh, I'm going to move the United Nations, by the way, to somewhere else. But we'll just put the UN right here for in a green circle. Okay. Um, now, um... We're also going to do a couple more circles. Sorry about this, guys. Just for the sake of Hong Kong. Because there's so many people there. And a couple islands off of Hong Kong, obviously. And we're going to do this. Ooh, this is really bad. Ladies and gentlemen. Probably making some big mistakes here, but we're going to do our best. Let's do this properly. Okay. Europe. Ooh. We're not even going to include this in the right thing, but we're going to try to do this right. We're going to do Ireland, 
and we're gonna put this also over to here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost done. Sorry about this. And um, I don't know. Have you been over to? Uh, this is a bad joke, but I've never been to Ibiza. It kind of includes Ibiza there. And that's about it. There is a place here in India that we need to look at, and we're going to look at that in Mumbai here. We're just going to take Mumbai, and then we're going to take Goa right here because that makes no sense whatsoever. That's exactly why I'm doing it. And then I'll circle Calcutta here as well because that will make sense to some people. And then I'm going to put right here Mount Everest, hopefully, or close to it. Uh, and then there's probably something up in here that we need to do circle as well. And I'm not even familiar with this area, but I'm going to circle it here and I'm going to circle it here um, because I have no idea what's going on right there. There's probably me and my other self hanging out with terrorists. Um, and this is maybe a more complete diagram. And I'm really sorry. There's not much else I can draw in on here. Um, and there's actually some big mistakes on this in particular, and I'm going to do uh, something that I should never have done on this map because I've always wanted to mark on this map in a bad way. This is a red zone. Do not ever go to Alaska. You'll get a massive earthquake spank. And there's actually... We're going to circle this whole red zone here. That's an earthquake zone. And we're going to circle this all over here as our quick zone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was probably a complete waste of time. You're like, why is he circling these things? And this is from my friend in Chicago. I grew up where the compass worked. And to me, the compass was a special device. It, it actually worked. Let's see if we can find one. I don't even know if my phone has a compass like... But it probably does have one that's really magically, powerfully great. I'm going to have to pause this because I have to go get some water. I'll be back. Here I am back without anything really practical to tell you except for something that's probably the most practical thing I've ever talked about. Oh, my God. So this map basically shows one thing. If you've grown up on one side of the where the compass works in one way, it will actually tilt over to the right or to the left or to the left to the right. I don't even know. That's how little I know about what I'm talking about. I have even forgotten which is right and which is left. No. Uh, but if you have grown up on one side, let's say it's the blue and it's the red, right? You might consider changing over to the other side. I'm not saying join the dark side. I'm not saying join the light side. I'm not saying what is better or worse. What I'm saying is that they're different and you should be on part of both sides. That is what I'm saying. That is completely wrong if you're trying to be a funny person. If you're trying to be a funny person, well, stay where you are. Do not do anything. Do not listen to what I'm saying. Do not even be on the internet at all, ever, okay? Now, if you're planning a vacation, this is unfortunately a problem. You can plan a vacation, so you don't. You can stay funny, and you can just go vacation someplace. And you can say, hey, all I want to do is I like, I like who I am. I don't care if my compass is wrong. I don't care if I'm completely off about everything in the entire universe. And I am like that, actually, because there's no time to study the entire universe in an accurate way. It's just beyond our imagination. So, well, I guess we're just going to have to keep it that way, right? So, anyway, is there anything else that I'd like to talk about? Oh, my God. Um, here's my screensaver. Looks interesting, right? I even have a white dog. Look at that. Wow, so cute. Um, and there are different versions of this. You can grab um, the declination field lines. Let's just grab all of them because my computer can load these up. And some people's computers may have some struggles. I'm trying to make friends with people who have struggling computers, actually. That's one of my hobbies. Um, and because I think it's very interesting to have a computer that is not even a computer. Um, but it looks like I have even not been able to grab the, oh, here's world magnetic models. Yes. Yeah, so you may want to grab this web page and actually I'm not going to, I'm going to hopefully be one of these days. This is going to be like the last time I'm going to talk about this web page. And I hope this is probably the last time 
So if you're looking at this, you should be like, wow, this is the last time that he's ever going to talk about this. So I maybe you should pay attention. But then again, don't pay attention because it doesn't really matter. Um, this is a full magnetic model. It looks at all the different fields and different perspectives. So you can see the International Geomagnetic Reference Field 2005. Very out of date, supposedly. But actually, the fields have not changed that much as much as people would argue. So... I would say use these. These are very interesting because you get to see it kind of over on the same surface. It'd be nice. I've tried to grab these and put this onto a uh, camel file so we can load them up onto a map like this one. So going back to my friend, guys, I grew up where the magnetic compass works, and I studied my butt off to try to... Um, learn something important both in San Francisco and Chicago and New York believe it or not and um, I learned absolutely nothing only thing I learned even the earth look at that see the earth is saying like yes you learned absolutely nothing yes you've learned nothing you don't know what you're talking about I'm even getting scared um, the earth is starting to talk to me is it talking to you right now did you feel that that was a little bit of an earthquake even Anyway, we live in Idaho. We have our small mini earthquakes. Um, but, um, yeah, so I just want to look at what's going on. It looks like I got a couple friends uh, here uh, from Wisconsin and um, where the compass works, actually. It looks like most the vast majority of my friends live where the compass works. Just kidding, guys. Most of them, I actually even don't know where they live yet. So I'm still getting to know some people here. Um, and... Um, I see one of my friends sitting on an island actually right now. Um, and uh, anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this topic. I'm going to pause it for a while and then I'm going to come back to it so you can think about it and then we can have some questions if you would like. So ladies and gentlemen, that is about it. I'm going to look at a couple more things here with everyone just so they can see all these different concepts. Now, um, there is another way to look at this whole map, and maybe we should even look at that right now. I'm gonna. This is gonna take hours to do this, guys. Unfortunately, if we do this this way, so we're gonna have to do it the hard way. I'm gonna just leave the video running, and we're gonna have to. So there's declination, inclination, D I, horizontal, force, and then there's X, Y, and Z. So that's kind of how this all works. If you're interested, now. Um, because it's simple, we're gonna use the pulse. Um, there's actually what you call the uh, stereographic or secular projection. Um, and then there is the uh, polar stereographic Antarctic one. I don't even know what this is saying. I don't think it's saying what I'm trying to say. So we actually wanna use the secular projections for these. So um, I'll explain what that means in a second when I'm gonna load them all because it does take a little while to load. Um, and really, probably the main one that you're interested in is the declination field. Um, and then the X, Y, and Z are essentially components that you should never use. So these are like for very straightforward people. And you probably want to use a spherical coordinate system. That's why you have declination and inclination primarily, and then horizontal intensity, um, which we didn't really even look at in this diagram here, but um, declination field. Um, so we'll grab each one of these and do a similar diagram on these. I think the main one we're going to use tonight is the horizontal intensity. You can do these others on your own if you'd like. Um, I'll try to diagram it out myself so people can see um, some of the major cities, just because it is hard to remember all the major cities along some of these uh, areas. I'm not an expert with that at all. So there is quite a number of awesome cities that I do not um, think about. In fact, every city that I would recommend would be one that I do not think about. Um, so
So, what are we going to do with this map? Let me pause this because this is going to take probably an hour. some echo from the music and that's because it's still playing somewhere out there in the world <laughs> someone is playing something way better than what I'm doing right now but um, anyway uh, so what what is going on with these maps um, I might even have to pause this music just because <laughs> I would prefer people do other things listen to music while they're watching what I'm doing trying to do um, or something else. Um, that was a piece called Taka. So, um, what are we talking about here? So these are, it's actually negative on the blue and positive on the red here. I can read that here. So again, I'll put a big plus in red here, I'll put a big negative. Oops, I got this wrong. <laughs> oh, thank God I got it wrong. Um, we're gonna do negative as in zero. With a red dot in the center. Okay, so that actually indicates that you should be thinking about, if you live on this side, you should just be thinking about going to the other side. And if you think about this side, you should live on that side. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do this all on all these little spots here. You see what I'm talking about here. So 
Turns out there are approximately three crosses here. That's interesting. And, and accidentally I did an upside down cross. So we're gonna say there's two crosses and one upside down cross, just for historical reference. Eventually the sun will come. 